If you have a Harbor Freight mini lathe, it's a good idea to take the carriage off uh, every once in a while and clean out the chips. I'll show you some of the places that the chips like to get stuck uh, that will make a big deal. You can slide the carriage up to the point where the thread dial hits this stop. So you'll have to remove both screws and take that little stop off. And then at that point, You'll be able to slide the carriage off. It's kind of an awkward shaped unit, but if you take off the tool post, just like that, you can spin the uh, thread out. Okay, so now we have a more of a flat surface to flip it over. On the back is where all the important mechanisms are. Um, from left to right, here's the thread dial, and that engages with uh, the all thread actually down here below. And uh, then there's the half nut, which you can't really see because it's upside down, but see that lever raises and lowers it so. You want to be able to get a different angle on that to see if there's any chips in there. So you can see I've got a little bit of debris in those grooves. If too much builds up in there, it could damage the threads of the half nut and then it just won't engage onto the lead screw. And then finally, the, these gears that slide the carriage up and down the Z axis, uh, just check these for chips. There's kind of a bit of enough slop that a few chips won't really hang it up, but uh, you'll notice a difference if you clean those out. You might even put a dab of grease on there. It feels a lot better without having a whole bunch of chips in there. You'll also want to grease the pinion that drives back and forth on your rack. And of course, even though the rack isn't very visible, our rack looks like it's in pretty good shape because it's facing downward. The uh, chips aren't going immediately in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna slide my finger along with a little bit of grease. Now the reason I'm using grease instead of oil or WD-40 or something is because the grease is stickier and it will hold in place. It won't just run out and away. The grease will actually stay where you put it better. If you're struggling to clean out these gears and actually really the proper way to do it uh, would be to um, remove that whole red block using these two uh, socket screws. All right, so with that aside, you can actually pull that gear out and get it pretty good with the brush and you also have better access to your half nut. So to get that half nut out, this set screw in order to free this side of the dovetail. It's just a little gib insert. And with that, he'll come out. You can see uh, where that set screw was locating this. And this should just slide right up. Here's the pin, goes into that slot. Now just look at all that debris. That's looking better, but there's still a couple problem makers in here. Some of them might be pretty, pretty uh, well embedded. Uh, so far, everything's coming right out. Now since I'm going through all this work is to clean out all the chips, uh, I went ahead and made a rubber way cover. That's gonna keep the chips out. Uh, it'll sit approximately something like this, attach right there, and be able to grow and stretch as needed in order to cover up the ways while I'm machining. So uh, this half nut is clean. I can actually see those half threads now. So they're ready to be re-greased. And I don't want to forget to 
also grease the dovetails here. That will just make operating the lever feel smoother. So I can get half the dovetail in. I gotta find that pin. There it is. And then I can drop that set screw in and just put a little bit of pressure on the gib. I'll just tighten up those screws there. That's feeling pretty good there. And those drive gears are spinning great. Ooh, how about this thread dial? I'll try that, or I'll go for the toothbrush and the kerosene. That looks great. Now that everything is clean, we can put it all right back together.